Hi and welcome to the Financial Street in Beijing. So to start my day, I'm going to grab a coffee at this shop, which used to be an imperial household back in the Qing Dynasty. My cup of coffee is right over here. Let me finish it and go on a tour to this trillion dollar street. So this is the Wingland International. The Chinese office of Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and UBS are based right in here. Taking a selfie with the Beijing Stock Exchange. This is the China Securities and Regulatory Commission. Check out this cool building linked with glass corridors. This is actually the headquarters of Industrial and Commercial Banks of China, one of the big four commercial banks in the country. The annual conference of the Financial Street Forum will be hosted at the Western Hotel right behind me in the following days. It's a major event at the year end discussing future policies and macroeconomic outlook. Top experts from all over the world will come to this street at that time. A small travel tip, if you're visiting here soon, be sure to check out this beautiful little park on the other side of the road. It's a perfect place for you to relax. And we also have a shopping mall right next to the park, just typical urban life. What I like about this street most is that you have skyscrapers on one side and some quaint looking temples like this one on the other side. The Beijing Financial Street could actually date back to some 700 years ago when it was called the Golden City Square at that time. It has become the financial center for so many different dynasties and that's why you can see the unique mixture of the modern and ancient art here.